my name's Debbie. Um, today we're on the Tokanui Egg Research Dairy Farm. This is a new dairy farm conversion and the idea is to test lots of research on this farm. There's a, a lot of technology that's been put on farm to capture information and as part of that there's a project uh, been put together funded by TEC and it's called the Agritech Centre and as part of that project my role is to take the information and data that's collected on this farm and turn it into information that's valuable for farmers, students, people wanting to come into the agricultural industry, the dairy industry, looking at science, looking at all the different opportunities. And so what we've got here today is, uh, behind me, it's basically the setup for milking the cows and that's what we're going to walk through today. We'll start off at the effluent system, looking at what happens when all the effluent is collected because that's a big environmental issue in the Waikato. And then we'll actually head off and we'll start looking at the way the cows are milked. We'll go through the shed, look at the equipment that's used to milk the cows and the data that's collected, and how it's collected, and then what's the cows being milked, and then they're off back to their paddock for the night. So we've got two systems, two ponds. The deeper one is for collecting the solids. It runs through pipe work to this uh, first pond over here, which is actually a deep pond, and it collects all of the solids as well as all of the liquid in the washdown water. That'll be pumped directly using the pump and stir over there to an application system. What happens when that goes on the land is you're getting organic matter and nutrients, so it's got a fertiliser value and nutrient value which goes back on the farm. As that gets full, it's actually got an overflow pipe and it drains the clear fluid because the solids settle to the bottom if it's not being stirred through to here. And we can also pump from this pond as well, so if we're wanting irrigation water, we can pump using that for irrigation value during the summer. And that could also be recycled to go back through the yards only, but to actually reuse for rewashing down the, the system. So here we are at the end of the dairy yard, and we've got a, a feed pad over here where the cows um, can supplement. And just here's the central effluent collection area, um, stone trap or stump. And you'll see there's some effluent in there now and a big pipe at the bottom, so when that um, gets a bit full is when it runs into the pond that we just filmed behind us. And then to the right of that is the main dairy yard. So the shed here is in two parts. There's the main rotary platform, which we'll go and see in a minute. Here is um, the front of the yard where we saw the back of the yard before. So we've pushed the cows up. Some of them have still got the tail wraps around them so they haven't come off. So we've still, still got milk in the go around. So they come on and they cut. If it was a flashing red light, it would be a warning that something was wrong, so you need to look at why that light's flashing in terms of whether you milk or not, because you might have had antibiotics, and that milk's not allowed to go into the vat, and so there's actually a physical release system to make sure that everything that goes into the milk vat should be in there. So you've seeded. We have seeded, we've off-synced, and we need to go across the land. Yep. So that's looking at various ways to bring the um, cows into heat for mating. So to try and you want carving to be as compact as possible. Um, ah, okay. Yeah. Um, bring yeah. So the herd actually had a range of carving patterns and ideally you want it as tight as possible. Here. If we maybe just go a little bit closer, 
So this is all collecting information from the milk and from the animals, so it's all computer collected. You sort of take a longitudinal view and you're going from bottom up, you've sort of got a, a whole layer of technology. And then we've got the animals in the middle and then you've got a whole other layer of technology on the top. And all that technology is collecting a whole lot of information about these cows on an individual basis. Now this information at the moment is collected in the office that we just came past. So it all sits on a computer, it's basically kept by this program and it can be used for making all sorts of decisions about what you do with those animals. It's a whole lot of, you can sort of make decisions for the future from information collecting now and in the past and looking at trends and looking at the cow's milk production on an individual basis. So the cows go out and the graze around those paddocks. The paddocks are taken out of rotation if they're too long and it's cut for silage so that you're trying to keep the quality up as well as the quantity. So we've sort of got that end of the information, so what the cow's eating, uh, what the fertiliser value is that's gone onto that land, what the soil tests are. Long term we'll be looking at um, effluent on those paddocks, looking at the moisture content of those paddocks and the soil, seeing how that affects grass growth. So the cows go and graze that grass and come in here and there's a whole lot more information collected in here. Some of them have got like pedometers on so we can actually tell how active the animal is during the day. That can be an indication of whether they're lame or not. And also the pattern of the way they walk, if they're lame, they walk different and that can actually be picked up in terms of the way the animal moving. If it's moving different it might mean that it's lame. Come in here, they're milk, you're getting milk volumes, you're looking at the composition of the milk that's produced. And all of that information is collected as the animal comes on um, and will be ultimately accessible through the website so that we can look at on-farm decision making and use this information as a learning tool. Looking at their milk volume, um, I think it does conductivity and that's all related to that particular animal. So this one's about to go here. She's like, <laughs> wants them off. So that was the cut removal there. I'm trying to, but I can't. And there's a few others here. So the finished mop basically cut them off automatically. And left hanging, and the cow's pushed off by the water on the face. Watch the cows being milked, and then they're off back to their paddock for the night.